It's the dog days of summer. Not much to be reported, not much going on. Um, I think a lot of the major moves that have been made in free agency have been done and people are still sitting here twiddling their thumbs uh, with a little stick like the meme poking at the New York Knicks. Like, are you going to make a move? Are you going to do something? Right? But this particular point in the five-year plan, the New York Knicks are actually Zen Masters. We can do the collective oh, like Wusa. The New York Knicks are actually Zen Masters. Yo, what are you talking about, Shia? What do you mean, Shia? Well, listen. When was the last time the New York Knicks didn't have a draft pick? And at this point in the season, so far past the draft having taken place, the New York Knicks are like, eh, not really tripping about it. When was the last time at this point in the season when free agency and all of the free agents that switched teams and moved to other teams and the, the KD in the season, but uh, any, any other free agents who left and signed, you know, K, uh, KP with Boston or whatever have you, any of those moves that have been made and the New York Knicks have not yet made an impactful move in free agency. No trades outside of a trade to get rid of a, 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 a fan favorite. And the New York Knicks fans have not been stressed. Eh. That's the feeling in the fan base right now. A collective wusa has fallen upon the fan base. Oh. When was the last time that's happened? No draft pick. No free agency move as of yet. And there seems to be a sense of just calm across the board with the fan base. Nobody's calling for the head of the of, of, of the GM. Nobody is calling for the head of the team president. I mean, hell, we're going to talk about this point as well. Even media and everybody's just like, yo, where, where's Leon? Nobody, Leon doesn't, Leon hasn't talked to the to the media in two years. You ain't getting that from the fan base. The New York Knicks, in addition to the progress they've made as a team, as an organization, as a franchise, have changed and raised the expectation of the team in terms of how we comport ourselves, how we carry ourselves. Oh yeah, we turn it on when it's time to get live. God, God, then we'll circle the block if we need to. We the block. We the block. Oh yeah, we'll do that. But yo, we in our full zen right now and nobody's effing up our zen at all. And yeah, you gotta love it. You gotta love You gotta respect it. You can't argue. That the New York Knicks fans at this point in the season with no draft pick, no free agency, we're in the offseason. We are kind of like, right, I trust the front office enough to, to, to relax and see what it is that they got planned because we've seen it. We've seen that when you sit back at first, I mean, we had to learn our lesson. We had to learn our lesson last summer when they didn't make a move during the draft. Free agency was hitting and and, 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 and we lost uh you know uh what's his name? DeJounte Murray, you know, to the Atlanta Hawks because there was already pre-discussions with Trey Young. They were friends and, and we felt bad about it. We felt New York Knicks ain't doing nothing. What are we doing? And then out of nowhere, we followed the plan. We got Jalen Brunson, but still that wasn't enough for us because we was just like, well, he was a backup. Although he did well, we don't know what we're getting from him. And the next thing you know, boom, Donovan Mitchell became available. And the New York Knicks were engaged in talks. And then those talks led into the middle of August, towards the end of August. And although we didn't leave with that prize, it showed that we had did everything to position ourselves to be able to get him. 
we just were smart enough not to give up the farm for that man. But in addition to the front office, I think we can't say enough. The fact that we owe this ability to be Zen filled, even when we haven't had a draft pick this year, or we didn't make a move yet in free agency, is because we have a point guard, Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson is one of the primary reasons, in addition to our front office, that New York Knicks fans seem a little bit more calm, a little bit more filled with Zen. We want to thank you, Mrs. Uh, San Brunson, because not only has Jalen Brunson successfully been able to help Julius Randle Wusa, but God, God damn it, he helped the fan base Wusa. He helped us all Wusa. All right? To be able to have a player of his caliber show what he has showed in the largest market, on the biggest stage, where the, heavy, where the jerseys are the heaviest and the lights are the brightest. And he scratched and clawed and carried the team on his back to do the best that he can to get this uh, vi victory for us. The rest of the team just wasn't equipped to roll with him at that time. The fact that he showed no sweat in doing that in New York one of the reasons he brings us in is because he brings free agents who are watching the possibility of playing in New York. He's bringing them Zen too. And Joel Embiid could now look at Madison Square Garden's lights and see, I can carry this as long as somebody else is there with me. Somebody who is clutch. Somebody who has the ability to make the team better. Somebody who is lightning focused and serious about his business. Someone who's not going to drag down a team in any other way, but who is there to be a leader and uh, raise up this team. That's what free agents are looking at. J Jalen Brunson is bringing them in. Anyone of consequence who is considering or who will be in a position to come to New York, the conversations they're having with their agent is that we love the fact that Jalen Brunson's there as well. Bet on that. Even the NBA knows enough to select him. And Steve Kerr knows enough to say, we're going to be leaning on Jalen Brunson a, a lot and for Team USA in the FIBA games because we, we respect what he brings as a leader, as, an, as a player who has an ability to bring other high caliber uh, NBA players together to achieve a goal. It's going to say a lot. This is why every one of us, we got to be fixated on these FIBA games. We got to be cheering for these teams. Don't ignore these this tournament because there ain't stars in there. Maybe there's going to be stars created as a result of being able to successfully win in this in in this uh, tournament. Get a high get a high finish in terms of this tournament if we don't come away with the gold. We got to be number 2. It's going to be a lot to be said if Jalen Brunson is able to lead this team to the gold. Tell me how much that does for marketing, for any future free agents, their desire to want to come to the New York Knicks. We've changed that. We'll be changing the narrative. The New York Knicks are no longer going to be looked at as a losing franchise organization to these young players, these young players, they don't care about history. They don't study history. They care about the present. They care about what's hot. They care about what's popular and what's popping today. They have no desire to study history. As much as New York Knicks fans, we want to be knowledgeable. We want to talk about knowing knowledge of the game. They don't care about none of that. Even the ones coming out of New York right now. And that's going to work in our favor because they're not even going to look past five years ago. They're going to look at what they see now. They're going to see 
if Jalen Brunson has an ability to be a killer, as he showed when he was in Dallas playing in the playoffs, as he showed a couple of times with this playoff run, and hopefully as he's going to show when he's on the largest stage representing the country. They're going to say, do I want to play with that young killer? He's going to be known as one of the top five point guards in this league, and I want to be on the same team with him, flexing and helping bring New York to that next step. So with the single acquisition of a point guard, the New York Knicks really have positioned themselves well in the eyes of of the NBA, in the eyes of the world. Going from being just trying to make be competitive for the wild card spot to not only making the playoffs, but falling two games short of the Eastern Conference. Now going into this season, you're going to be looked at, at as Eastern Conference title contenders. And as I predicted last season, that we would get to the to the conference finals and to the finals. Check me out a couple of summers back. I'm going to drop the post. I predicted that the New York Knicks would be champions by 24. I may be a little bit ambitious. But I made the pre- look. This is what happens when you're in these YouTube streets. God damn it! When you're in these YouTube streets, your record is out there. So I'm standing on it. I said the New York Knicks are going to be the new Golden State Warriors in terms of how they built their team. But I predicted that 2024 will be the year we we snatch that championship, and I'm sticking to it. She is Stradamus, baby. I'm here. I'm standing on it. I'm standing 10 tones down on it. Okay? So, the New York Knicks are now Zen Masters. And we can thank Jalen Brunson for it. And we can thank the New York Knicks front office for it. So, shout out to all of them as well. Okay? Shout out to them. Round of applause for them guys. Okay? What are y'all saying? What comments y'all got? 